Hello and welcome to another lecture on probability. Today we shall be starting with independent events and their theorems. Later we shall be dealing with law of probability and finally we are going to deal with some numerical problems that would be based on independent events. Now starting with independent event. Now an independent e event can be defined if the occurrence or non-occurrence of one does not affect the probability of occurrence or non-occurrence of the other. For example, we consider a bag which contains six white and three red balls. Two balls are drawn from the bag, one after the other. Consider the events, let's say A, which defines drawing a white ball in the first draw, and even B is the drawing of a red ball in the second draw. If the ball drawn in the first draw is not replaced back in the back then event A and B are dependent events because probability of B is increased or decreased according as the first draw results as a white or a red ball. If the ball drawn in the first draw is replaced back in the bag then events A and B are independent events because probability B remains same whether we get a white ball or a red ball in the first draw that is probability of B is equal to probability of B by A and probability of B is equal to probability of B by A bar. And we may write probability of A by B is equal to probability of A and probability of B by A equal to probability of B and vice versa. Next we are going to study the theorems that are based on independent events. Theorem 1 states that if a and B are independent events associated with a random experiment then probability of A intersection B is equal to the product of probability of A and probability of B that is the probability of simultaneous occurrence of two independent events is equal to the product of their probability. According to next theorem if A1, A2 up to AN are independent n events associated with a random experiment then probability of a1 intersection with a2 up to an events is equal to the product of a1 probability probability of a2 up to probability of an next we are going to consider law of total probability now the law of total probability states that if s be the sample space and E1, E2 up to En be n mutually exclusive and exhaustive events associated with a random experiment. If A is an any event which occur with E1 or E2 or En then probability of A is given as as probability of E1 into probability of event A occurring with E1 already occurred plus probability of E2 into probability of occurrence of A1 with probability E2 already occurred up to probability of En into probability of A with En already occurred. Next we are going to deal with a numerical problem based on independent events. The problem is a die a dice is thrown once if A is the event in which the number appearing is a multiple of 3 and B is the event for which the number appearing is even. We have to find whether the given events that is A and B are independent or not. Now here the probability of A can be given as probability of A equal to 2 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 3 and probability of B can be given as 3 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 and probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of number appearing as even and a multiple of 3 which is equal to probability of number equal to 6 which is equal to 1 by 6. Now as we can make out that probability of A intersection B 
is equal to 1 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 which is probability of A into probability of B. Therefore, the events that is A and B are independent. Next, we have another problem in which we have a bag which contains 4 red and 3 balls, 3 black balls and the second bag contains 2 red and 4 black balls. One bag is selected at random and a ball is drawn. We have to find the probability that the ball which was drawn was red. In this given problem, a red ball can be drawn in two mutually exclusive ways. First one is selecting bag 1 and then drawing a red ball from it. And the second one is selecting bag 2 and then drawing a red ball from it. We suppose let E1, E2 and A denote the events defined as E1 be the event of selecting bag 1 and E2 be the event of selecting bag 2 and A denotes the event in which we draw a red ball from the given bag. Now here since one of the two bags is selecting at, selected at random therefore probability of event E1 can be written as probability E1 is equal to 1 by 2 and probability of occurrence of E2 is equal to 1 by 2 again. Now probability of occurrence of A1 with E1 already occurred is equal to the probability of drawing a red ball when the first bag has been chosen which is equal to probability of A by E1 is equal to 4 by 7 since first pack contains 4 red and 3 black balls and probability of A by E2 is equal to the probability of drawing a red ball when the second bag has been selected which is equal to 2 by 6 since second bag contains 2 red and 4 black balls. Now using the law of probability we have probability of red ball equal to probability of E1 into probability of A by E1 plus probability of E2 into probability of A by E2. This is equal to 1 by 2 into 4 by 7 plus 1 by 2 into 2 by 6 which is equal to 19 by 42. Thus the probability of drawing a red ball is 19 by 42 in the given problem and was obtained by the use of law of total probability which we have discussed today in this lecture. With this we conclude the second lecture on probability which was based on the independent events and law of total probability.